Now that you are familiar with the Tribe HR layout, we're going to show you how to customize and automate vacation and sick day tracking, in addition to other types of time off. As an administrator, you can configure your time off settings, including vacation tracking, from the Administration tab in the top right corner of the page. To properly configure your time off settings, you're going to visit both Company and Time Off within this section. Under Company, you'll choose the date that you would like your vacation balances to reset on. Remember to save your information before moving forward. The second tab, Time Off, is where you will visit to edit the specific details of each type of time off for your company. When you first log into Tribe HR, you'll see that there are two types automatically populated in your system, Vacation and Sick. Let's edit Vacation. Now, from this screen, you'll select the way in which you would like vacation days to accrue. You'll set the default amount of vacation days that each employee is entitled to, and you'll select the default carryover, in addition to selecting when these will expire. Now, this button here, Show on Calendar, indicates whether the type of time off will show on the calendar for the people that you select, so the privacy settings will determine who will see this information. Let's try adding a new type of vacation, Days in Lieu. From this screen, you can select the accrual method that you would prefer for this type of time off. You can select the annual allocation, carryover, and expiration details, in addition to selecting whether this will show on the calendar or not. Now let's say you didn't want to accrue this type of time off and just wanted to track it. You could select that option from the drop-down menu, set the privacy settings for the company calendar, and save your new type. Now that you've configured your time off settings, let's see how they appear on an employee file. When you first set up your Tribe HR domain, not everyone in the company has the same number of vacation days left. For example, Donna may have already used five of her vacation days so far. Because you set the default settings before you import your employees, you may have to go back to make changes, and you can do so from this screen. You can click into the allocation, edit, and update. The screen you're presented with here is a summary of the annually allocated time off for all employees in the company. So once you've made that change, it'll bring you to that report as an administrator. To see a summary of all time off activity within your organization, view your time off ledger that's available in the Reports tab. We'll revisit the Reports view later on in the video. And so let's return to the employee file. You can see that you can view the time off summary per employee on their individual file. The time off summary is divided according to time off type. Now that you've seen how some of this information is stored, let's review how you can actually request time off. You can do so from the individual employee file, or alternatively from the overview screen, which is where most employees will be requesting vacation, calling in sick, or other types of time off from. Although this view is very similar for employees, managers, and administrators, as an administrator I am able to book time off for myself, on behalf of another employee, and have it pre-approved, cancelled, or pending. I simply select the dates, confirm the number of workdays that I'm missing off, select who it's on behalf of, and the approval status. When a time off request is submitted, the direct manager of the employee is notified. This notification is piggybacked to the email address that's within Tribe HR, in addition to populating the Tribe HR messaging system. Each user's Actions for You to Do list is updated with this request. The manager is prompted to review the request, and the employee is notified when the request has been rejected or accepted. You can see that you can edit these requests at any time by simply clicking into the request, changing the status, and updating. With the Reports feature in Tribe HR, you can pull the open time off requests so that you can easily see which requests still need to be addressed. From this page, you can click into each request and make edits. You can see these time off requests in each individual employee file when taking a look at their time off tab in their file.
by selecting the time off type that was just approved, you can see the record as it appears on the summary page. I can click into this request, make changes, and submit. You can also make edits to time off by clicking into the event on the calendar. Let's take a look at some of the time off reports in Tribe HR. Here you can see a list of the vacation and time off reports that are available to you. Let's look at the time off report. From here you can select a date range, a time off type, and update the report. You can also choose to download this information as an Excel file or use the popular activities menu to navigate between time off settings. That concludes our time off video. Thank you for watching. If you have any additional questions or comments, please do not hesitate to reach out. You can contact us at our help desk, send us an email, or give us a quick call. Either way, we hope to hear from you soon.